Pete Mangione with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, a nice day out there, but certainly a warm start to August, and it was a very hot July. How hot, you may ask? Well, let me show you. We ended up at number three, the third warmest July on record at TF Green Airport with an average temperature of 76 point six degrees and yesterday we ended things in the 90s so certainly a very warm month and now let's take a look at a warm evening here in North Kingstown blue skies you can see the grass trees looking pretty green here a lot of sailboats out on the bay and looking from East Providence towards Providence shows a warm but nice evening temperature 86 right now in Providence 82 Smithfield 85 in Newport 86 in Westerly one of the reasons why the south coast has been fairly warm today is you get those down sloping winds into places like Westerly earlier we had a wind from the north now it's shifted to the southwest Newport still hanging on to a light wind out of the northeast at three miles an hour. Tiverton showing 87 degrees, so still warm there. And our cold front, if you want to call it that, is offshore with the clouds and the showers taking its place now as high pressure that will control things for most of the weekend, certainly for tomorrow, and that will help uh, keep that humidity low and also keep things fairly comfortable throughout the afternoon. So let's walk you through what's going to happen on Saturday because there may be a few issues out there with showers and storms. I'm not anticipating them to be very widespread. You can see this is Saturday morning. We'll start off with mostly sunny skies. Watch what happens deeper into Saturday afternoon. A few showers and storms start to approach from the west. These may never actually make it to southern New England, but it's something we'll have to keep an eye on late Saturday morning into Saturday evening. I'd say the best chance of a shower or storm on Saturday would be in the evening. At this point, I would not cancel any plans for the weekend because of that forecast. And then tonight we're talking about temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s, so fairly pleasant. You can certainly open up the windows across most of the area. Check out some of these numbers by 5 a.m. tomorrow. Maybe you're about to get up. Uh, heading into work. We're talking upper 50s in Willimantic, Connecticut, low 60s for Smithfield. Wouldn't be surprised if a few more upper 50s pop up outside of Providence early tomorrow morning. And then it's a fairly rapid warm up by around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We're in the mid 80s, very similar to what we had today. The south coast low 80s with kind of a weak sea breeze developing tomorrow because that sea breeze I think will be relatively weak. It should allow our beaches to rise into the low 80s. A pretty nice beach day though with mostly sunny skies. And on the water winds starting from the north and then shifting around from the south. Fairly light though if you're doing some boating tomorrow at five knots during the afternoon. Waves around one foot on Narragansett Bay. High tide 925 in the morning. Low tide 255 in the afternoon. All right, let's talk humidity. Finally, a lot of low humidity showing up in this four day forecast. Borderline refreshing, maybe a bit humid in spots tomorrow, but certainly pretty uh, pleasant out there. Saturday's muggier, Sunday a little on the muggy side too, and then Monday back to the refreshing category. So a nice break for the air conditioner here, at least for part of the next several days. And you will notice in the seven day forecast, mid 80s take us all the way through Saturday and Sunday. Don't forget for both days on the weekend, for both Saturday and Sunday, there will be a slight shower or storm risk, even though most of the time will be rain free. And on Sunday, we're talking about mid 80s inland and along the coast, including Newport for the Jazz Festival, low 80s for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It will be a bit muggier on Saturday with that slight shower chance. Rest of the forecast shows a beautiful Monday, mid 80s, humidity fairly low, and then we will start to increase the humidity and the chance for showers as we go through the middle of the week, especially on Wednesday and Thursday with high temperatures in the mid 80s, but certainly a fantastic Friday of weather is ahead as we roll towards tomorrow. It was nice to walk out to take my son for a walk around nine this morning and feel like, oh, it's not oppressive. I know. I, I can know. do this. We've set the standards pretty low now, right? Yeah, right. All right, Pete, thanks. Yep. More coverage you can count on still ahead on Iowa.